Good morning, family. Welcome to today's lesson for life. Today's Monday, July 6, 2009. It's a reading Second Samuel chapter 13, and um, it's an interesting story. But as always, I encourage you to read for yourself. See what you get from me. Email us, and we will put it on the blog. But we see uh, in this chapter, as you read through the story, you have to really read it for yourself. Um, that uh, it's talking about David's sons, um, Amnon and Absalom, and uh, I'll just jump right into you know what. I saw and when I'm bringing it for Lessons for Life, you have to read it for yourself to get the uh, actual story. But um, we've said even before with David and um, Bathsheba, you see how there was an improper uh, relationship. David took something that didn't belong to him. And you actually um, see the same thing happening now with his son, where a brother takes his other brother's sister and um, lies with her. So he takes something that once again doesn't belong to him. So it's, uh, one thing I noted uh, immediately was that you know as we saw David do, now his son also does. So that brings up an important lessons for life um, that we've mentioned even before about you know what the father or what the parents do. Many times will go down uh, to the children, and children may repeat through that same process. So it's important for on um, two parts for, for the, pa the parents to uh, I guess even explain some of the things that they did that they know was wrong to their children so that the children don't repeat the same mistakes or um, the same errors that the parents have done. Also, uh, from a child's perspective, it's important not to follow things that your parents have done that you've seen uh, that have not been successful, that have not been right, uh, because then you'll just repeat uh, a, a bad habit and it'll become a habit. So we see that the um, Adnan really kind of repeats what David does and uh, you know from that whole story uh, it's just I guess my, my main feeling when I was reading the story was that you know there's so many uh, people in the world for you to uh, have a relationship with there's no reason to have to uh, be with someone a close family member a close relative in any capacity so that was, you know, um, you of course see the error in that, but uh, as I read through, the I was attempting to think, you know, like I said before, I'm going to bring up the positive and uh, focus on the positive. The only thing I kind of saw um, admirable from the chapter was, I guess, Absalom. Um, but what he did was he actually took vengeance and he, he uh, killed his brother because of what he had did to his sister. Um, but in actuality, uh, because Absalom had to hide after that, he knows what he did wasn't completely right too. Because if there's something you're doing that's right, there's no reason for you then to hide yourself. So he hid and he had to leave his family because of what he had done. So there wasn't uh, that wasn't completely altogether right too. It's just I guess just because he stood up um, for what had to be done, I guess to his brother. And another thing that we see here, I know I'm jumping around, but. Uh, so we see Amnon wasn't right, of course. Absalom, I kind of uh, admired what he did, but he wasn't right either. Um, there was other means to do what he what he um, ended up doing, or there was other ways to handle that particular matter. And his wasn't right because he knew it wasn't right, and that's why he hid. And then another thing that we can see, too, is David, because when I saw what happened and that David knew about it, and David didn't appropriately um, handle the situation he uh, at all. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that he addressed the situation at all. So him being a father and really supposed to be the one um, watching out for all of his children, sons and daughters, he didn't handle the situation because he didn't, you know, it just said that he was uh, destroyed or some, some, something like that. But he didn't, you know, address it in any, any way. So that's why Absalom uh, had to step forward and do something. So we actually see a couple of things of what people did that wasn't uh, particularly right. Um, and that's what we have to go on for Lessons for Life uh, for this morning. So one is the, the son repeating what David had done from you know the last two chapters we were reading about. And then we also remember that uh, you know there's no reason to have a close relationship with any close um, family member, have, you know, any kind of inappropriate relationship with any close family member, because there's so many people in the world for you to have a relationship with. So it's kind of ridiculous. And then 
Um, also, if you do something and you know you're right, then there's no reason to hide after that. And then also about David not being a particularly uh, good father in that regard because he didn't address the situation that his son did wrong. And that's even why, like I said from the beginning, why um, this issue even might have came up because he didn't address his own <laughs> situation where he had done wrong and maybe even explain to his children what he had done wrong. So, you know, as parents, I think we need to sit down and explain to our children the things that we've done wrong. That way they don't repeat it and they don't go through the same thing and then uh, it continually repeat down the line of your generations. So, uh, that's what I got from today's lesson for life. There's a couple of different things in there. Uh, with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today and we'll talk again tomorrow.